Hey there, thanks for joining me. Let's talk about using a coordinate grid to display data. The I can statement is, I can represent real world and mathematical problems by graphing and interpreting coordinate points in the first coordinate quadrant. You can use a coordinate grid to display and analyze real world data. A line graph is a graph that uses line segments to show how data changes over time. The numbers that label the graph are called the graph's scale. So along our x and y axis is our scale. The difference between one number and the next on the scale is called the interval. Intervals should be equal. So let's take a look at our x axis here and you'll see that every hour is marked between 6 and 11. So my interval is one hour and I've labeled the x axis as time. If we look at the y-axis, one of the first things you might notice is this break down here. And the reason I did that is because none of our data um, starts until 43 degrees. There are no temperatures between 0 and 43 degrees. So it doesn't matter that 0 through 39 is missing. Our data is still displayed properly and usable. The interval along our y-axis is an interval of 2 degrees. So each, no, each number goes up by 2. And we've labeled the y-axis as temperature in Fahrenheit. So let's take a look at our chart. The title of the chart is, or the table, is recorded temperatures. So I have time and temperature in Fahrenheit. At 6 a.m. it was 43 degrees, at 7 a.m. it was 47 degrees, at 8 a.m. it was 50 degrees, and at 9 a.m. it was 52 degrees. So I can use those numbers to create ordered pairs. 6 a.m. and 43, 7 and 47, 8 and 50, and 9 and 52. So if we go to our coordinate grid, these points have been plotted already. 6:43 is right here, 7:47. 8.50 and 9.52. So why do we bother doing this? Because this line graph now can help us answer questions such as at what interval, what time, what hours was the greatest, did the greatest temperature change occur? Well if I look at my data I can tell that between the hours of 6 and 7 is where the greatest temperature change occurred because there was a difference of four degrees. So there's lots of different um, questions we can answer based on this data. Go ahead and do the practice problems and then scan the QR code at the bottom and we'll go over them. Mm -hmm.